Okay, we're good, good to go. Right, good morning, welcome to uh, Wednesday Workout. Mostly strength training today, so hopefully you've got a set of dumb uh, dumbbells and then we'll use a heavier one as an option for lower body work. So work within your own range of ability as always. I'll modify as we go along, but just make this your own workout. Good, let's get going then with a the warm up. So we'll do some gentle butt kicks. If you don't want the bounce, then just march. Bring in the arms a little bit. Another few seconds. Good. And four, three, two, and one. Well done. Step and reach. So nice big stretch across. So open up the ribs. And four, three, two, and one. Then just kick up the leg, bring down the arm, engage the core, stay tall. Good, and four, three, two, and one. Take the feet wide for a lateral lunge, so just driving the hips back. So the knees are not forward of the toes. And sit into it on this side, just hold. Good. Same thing on the other side. Okay, bring the feet closer together and just drop down, rotate through the spine. So just touching the foot with the opposite hand. Good, and four more, two, and one, well done. Okay, let's do a chair squat. So feet are close together. We sit back into a squat, bring the arms up. Try and get the elbows up by the ears if you can. Good, squeeze the glutes to come up. So really good stretch through the spine. And again, and squeeze, come up, two more. And come up, and last one. Good, and come up. Hamstring stretch, so straight leg. Just scoop down either side of the foot. Good, so just increase the range with each one as you go. Good, change legs. One more on this side. And we'll do good morning. So back is straight, you push away with the bottom, so hinging the hips, soft knees, squeeze the glutes and the hammer. And again, squeeze, come up, two more, and squeeze the glutes to come up. And last one. And good, well done. So we'll step back into a reverse lunge, just drop into that. So feel that stretch through the hip flexor, bring up the opposite arm and then hold and gently side bend towards the front knee. Good. Change legs, same thing. Good, and hold, and side bend. Okay, put me up through the hips this way, so just lead with the knee, engage the core. Last two. Good, 
give the shoulders a good roll back. We're going to do a little bit of an extended stretch and warm up down on the mat. So if you use the mat, grab one. So I've done this for the last two or three weeks, just a little walk down, plank, and I'll talk us through it. So feet are a good hip width apart, nice and tall, tummy in, chin to chest. And just roll down through the spine. Walk out into a full plank, just hold that for a second, pull in the tummy button, nice straight back. And then we're going to hinge up at the hips, take the feet a little wider if you need to. Walk the hands back into a downward dog. So try and keep the legs straight. If you need to put in a little bend, that's fine. Head between the elbows, chest towards the thighs. And then just bring the knees down towards the mat, just transferring the weight forward. Shoulders are over the wrists. Hold for three, two, one, and push back up. If you need to drop your knees to the mat, that's fine. If you can hold in that crouch position, that's good. So let's do that one more time. Drop down and hover for three, two, one. And push back up into the downward dog. Try and stretch through even more. And then we're going to pedal, lifting up the heels, one after the other, as if you're on a bike. Never seen anyone ride a bike in this position, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Good, just really stretching through the calf muscle. Good, and four, three, two, and one. And then just walk your hands back, nice and slowly, rolling up through the spine. As you come up, just lift up your hands and just stretch right through the back, just lean back ever so slightly, if you're not holding any weight, you don't hurt your back, and relax, good, well done, hopefully everything's nice and loose, warmed up. So we're going to start off with um, what's called prisoner lunges, so they're just straightforward, uh, straightforward forward lunges, but the hands are behind the head, in prisoner style. Okay, so just a nice big step forward and push back off the front foot. So we'll do 18, sorry, 16 all together, eight on each leg. Okay, alternating. So off you go. And one. And two. And three. So staying tall through the upper body. Five. And six, seven, eight, halfway, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last two, fifteen, and 16. Good, well done. Okay, grab your dumbbell, dumbbells. So chest flies, so grab a weight that's suitable for you if you've got the choice. And we're going to squat, so regular squat, nice and deep, and open up to a chest fly as we come up. Okay, so we're going to do 14 all together. Off we go. And one. And two. Three, four, squeeze the glutes as you come up, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, doing well, eleven, three more, 12, 13, and 14. Good, well done. Okay, just using one weight, we're going down to the mat again. We're going to do Superman with a tricep press. Uh, 
So we'll just work through one side, obviously. If for whatever reason you don't want to go down on the mat, you can work with both, both dumbbells doing a standing tricep kickback, okay? So into kneeling position, bring the elbow up to the ribs. And as we kick the weight back, we're gonna press the opposite leg out. So Superman with a tricep kickback. So we'll do 10 on each side. Good. Off we go. We we'll just hinge back from the elbow, don't let the upper arm move. Release the glutes as you extend the leg. Nine. Engaging that core to keep you stable all the way through. Eleven. We're doing twelve now. I've changed my mind to twelve. <laughs> you all know counting is not my strongest suit. Okay, change sides. More than the other side. Good. So bring the elbow up. Shoulder over the wrist. And off we go. One. And two. And three. So just take the back foot away as far as you can. Six and seven and eight and nine, ten. Last two, eleven and twelve. Good. Well done. So working with one weight, we're going to do a side lunge halo. So if you've got a single weight, slightly heavier one, you might want to grab that. We'll show you what we're going to do. So we're going to drop the weight down in a side lunge, step together, figure of eight, we'll take it behind, around the head, and drop down to the other side. We have done it before. Good, let's go for 14 all together, alternating sides, off we go. That's it. Take it around, behind the head, other side, two. And three, so you take it away from you, then bring it behind, and four. And five. And six. And seven, and eight, nine. Just watch your lower back as you halo. Ten. Engage that core. Hold the tummy tight. And twelve. Two more. Last one. Woo, well done. Okay, let's grab a quick drink and then we'll move on. Okay, so we're going to move on to a lawnmower. So if you have a, a heavier weight again, use that. You can always hold two lighter ones. Good. <clears throat> So in this sort of an extended lunge position, the back leg is pretty much straight, the knees just soft, resting on the front leg, and then drawing the weight up. So nice and heavy if you can, and you're working here, your back. The shoulder shouldn't move too much. So let's do 10 on each side, off we go, one. So just draw up, using the elbow, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Hope you've got a heavy enough weight for this. And then change legs. Same thing on the other side. One, and two, and three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Woo, good, well done. Okay, let's take the slightly lighter dumbbells again. And to do some shoulder raises from a wide squat. So just holding the weights in front of you, hit your hips, dropping down into that wide squat. So the knees are out over the feet and come up to a shoulder raise. Okay, so we'll go for 12 of these. Off we go. One. Good. So breathe out as you come up. Two. Three. So we're using the glutes. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Keep that back nice and straight. Eight. Don't lean forward. Nine. Ten. Good. Last two. Eleven. And twelve. Good. Well done. Okay, let's come down onto the mat. So I'm going to do an extended plank or you can drop to your elbows if you prefer. <clears throat> if your shoulders are feeling it, you might want to drop to your elbows. So I'm going to hold the extended plank and I'm going to tap the leg out to the side. So keeping the back straight, tummy pulled in for 14. If it feels too much, just hold the plank. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four. Someone's let my dogs out. Five, six, seven, eight, good. Nine, ten. Four more, tummy button pulled in. And last two. Good. Sit back on your heels if you can. Just drop into child's pose. Have a little stretch through before we come up. Okay, well done. So we're going to go to reverse lunges with a hammer curl, which is just a bicep curl basically. But pop in a little pulse. So hammer curl, the wrists are facing each other. So we're going to drop into a reverse lunge, little pulse, and come back up. Okay. So we'll do, we'll change legs. Actually, no, we'll stay with one leg, do eight, and then change. Slightly easier. Good. Off we go. One. And push up. And two. And three. Good. And four. And five. So nice big step back. Six. Good. Two more this side. Seven. Good. Last one. Eight. Good. And change legs. And three, four, and five. Good, keep the core engaged. To keep you stable all the way through. Last one coming up. Woo, well done. Okay, before we repeat all of those, I'm just going to pop in a bit of cardio for 30 seconds, okay? Well, you'd be pleased to hear that. <laughs> so you know enough of the sort of cardio moves that we do. You can choose something. If you don't want impact, we've got the step and reach with a leg raise. Or we've got wood chop. I'm going to do star jumps this time around, probably skaters next. Okay, 30 seconds, there or thereabouts, off we go. Good. 
good. We're nearly there, about 10 seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, well done. That was uh, over 30 seconds, so we did well. All right, catch your breath, have a drink, and then we'll go back around all of that. Back to prisoner lunges. So we did 16 of these alternating legs. So hands behind the head, staying tall through the upper body. Off we go. One. And just two. Moving a little bit further back. Three. And four. Five. Six. I'm going to change to the side. You carry on. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So really push off that front foot. Thirteen, fourteen, last two, fifteen, and sixteen. Good, well done. Squat with chest flies. We did 14 of these. Okay, so nice deep squat. You don't want to take the weights out to the chest fly, just hold them in front of you. Okay, off we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, squeeze, seven, eight, nine, ten, four more, doing well, eleven, twelve, 13, last one, 14. Good. Okay, dropping down to the mat for the Superman with tricep kickback. So you can do a tricep kickback or press standing if you prefer. So we did 12. So in the kneeling position, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, <coughs> and extending the opposite leg. Bring up the elbow, off we go. One, two, three, four, five. So just hinging back at the elbow, six, seven, upper arm stays in place, Nine, ten, last two, eleven, and twelve. Good. Change sides. Okay, core in, tummy button in, pull the elbow up, off we go. One, two, three, squeeze the glute, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus two, eleven, and twelve. Good, well done. Sit back into child's pose, have a little stretch through. Okay, side lunge with the halo. So if you've got a slightly heavier weight, you want to use that. Now you know what we're doing. So 14 all together. Good. So alternating sides, off we go. One, weight across and behind. Two. Three. 
and four. Drive the hips back as you lunge, five. And seven. Eight. Nine. Four working there. Ten. Four more. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Last one. Fourteen. And seven. Good. Well done. Okay, lawn mower. So grab your weight, heavy as you can find, <laughs> not literally. Standing the back leg with a soft knee, leaning on the front leg. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Good. Change sides. So engage the core. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, and ten. Good, well done. Okay, back down to the floor with the mat. We're going to do the leg taps, extended plank with leg taps. Can hold the plank or do it down on your elbows if your shoulders swing it. Good, so come up into the plank, tummy button pulls up into the spine, shoulders over the wrist, and we'll tap out for 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Back straight, tummy in. Thirteen and fourteen. Good, well done. A little bit of a stretch through again. Before we come up. Okay, wide squat with shoulder raises. Gosh, kites are noisy today. <laughs> so take the wide, or take the squat as wide as you can. Okay, so feet out at 45 degrees and the knees head out open. Wrists facing each other, drop into the squat and off we go. One. And two. Three. Squeeze the glutes and the thighs as you come up. That's halfway. Eight. Nine. Ten. We're going to do four more. We're doing 14 this time around. Eleven. Twelve. Last two. And last one. Good. Well done. Okay, a little bit of cardio again. We got through all of that. Haven't missed anything out. Oh, yes, I have. Reverse lunges for bicep curls. <coughs> okay, so grab your weights. <coughs> Eight on each leg. We'll stay with one leg and then change. So we'll do hammer curls, wrist facing each other. 
toes and come up. Two and three and four and five. Last on this leg, seven and eight. Good, and change legs. In this way, one and two and three and four and five. Six, plus two, seven, and eight. Woo, well done. Okay, now we can go to cardio. So you can always add in something more intense, squat jumps or burpees if you're doing this at home. I'm gonna go with skater lunges. We've got floor taps or hands down to meet a knee with or without a little jump, okay? 30 seconds there or thereabouts, off we go. Good, doing well. Well over halfway. Last 10 seconds. And three, two, and one. Good, well done. Okay, moving on. Another 10 minutes or so. Okay, kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings. So take a heavier dumbbell again. Okay, so gentle squat, driving back with the hips and just swing up. So it's all from the lower body. The weight just naturally swings because you're driving through from the hips. Okay, so let's do 14 all together. One, two, squeeze the glutes, ride the hips forward, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, two more, thirteen, and fourteen. Good, well done. Hopefully that went well for you. So down on the mat. So we're going to do chest fly through the... Actually no, we'll do chest press through the upper body. <coughs> So the elbows are out in line with the shoulder, wrist of the elbow, and just press the weights up over the chest. Okay, so for the lower body, you can either hold the legs in tabletop position, just work through the upper body, or you can extend one leg and then the other using your lower abs, or if you're feeling very brave, you can do it with an extended leg and lower both or one. Okay? So I'll do intermediate. Off we go. One. And two. And three. We'll go for 16. Four. Five. So keep your back pressed onto the mat. Good, halfway there. Find 
Yeah. You're in that little 12, 13, 14, last two, 15, and 16. Good. Well done. Pop the weights down at the side of you. Okay, we're going to come back up. So take one weight with a bit more core. And we're just going to do a standing wood chop. So just bringing the weight down to an alternate knee. We'll do 16 all together. So don't need to take the weight too high. And then use your core to draw the knee up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stay tall. Seven, eight, halfway. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Last two, fifteen, and sixteen. Good. Hopefully, you feel that in the tummy. Okay, let's go back around those three and then we'll move on into the last little burst. So back to kettlebell swings. So grab your weight, 14 of these. We can do this, we're nearly there. Doing well. Good, so drive back at the hips and one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, halfway, eight, nine, ten, squeeze glutes, eleven, drive the hips. Last one. Good, well done. Uh, let's do the standing wood chop now while we're up. Rude not to. <laughs> Okay, so that was 16, bringing the knee down. Good, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Good, well done. So we'll move on, well, we'll do the chest lies and then we'll stay down, we'll move on. So you might want to work with a slightly heavier weight, we're going to do a bridge move. So if you've got that weight close to the mat, then uh, you can use it if you want to in the bridge. Okay, so back to the chest press with lowering of the legs. So you can hold the legs in tabletop or lower one out to the other. Back into the mat. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. Eight and nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, four more, thirteen, fourteen, plus two, fifteen, and sixteen. Good, well done. Pop those weights to one side for the moment. And I'll show you what we're going to do. So if you've got a heavier one and you brought it with you, we could use that or you can stay with uh, one of the regular ones. So we're going to come up into a bridge, squeeze your glutes, take the weight up overhead. And then we're going to raise a knee and just pull the weight up and over to meet the shin that's beyond the knee. Now if it feels too much, just forget the upper body and just march through, raising the knee. 
Good. So squeeze the glutes, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes. Take hold of the weight. And let's do 14 all together. One. So soft bend in the elbows. Keep the hips lifted. Six. And seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Don't let the hips drop. Eleven. Squeeze the glute. Twelve. Last two. Thirteen. And fourteen. Woo! Well done. Gently roll down through the spine. Have a good stretch. So take the fingertips away from the toes. Have a good stretch through. Well, I see what's next. Okay. So coming up. Good, have a quick drink. We're going to do a regular squat and press. And then we're going to go back down to the mat to do the bridge one more time and finish with a plank. So just one squat and press. We'll do 14 of these. So last burst of strength, then down onto the mat, we're done. <clears throat> okay. And one. And press. Two. Three. Four. Five. Squeeze those glutes. Six, seven, we're nearly there, eight, doing well, nine, ten, four more, eleven, twelve, last two, fourteen, woo, good, well done. Okay, so we go back to the bridge with the knee raise and pull over. And then we're going to turn and hold a plank for up to 45 seconds. Okay. So take the level of weight you're happy with if you're working through the upper body. So take it overhead, just a soft bend in the elbow. Place the feet in line with the hips and squeeze the glutes. And then let's march through one foot after the other. Off we go. One. So weight comes up and over to meet the shin. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Hips lifted all the way through. Eight. Nine, ten, four more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and last one, fourteen. Good, well done. Roll gently down through the spine. That's it, good. Last, last move. Elbow plank, we're going to hold it for 45 seconds if you need to take a break. Just work up to what is good for you. So, tummy button in, back nice and straight, glutes squeezed, neck in line with the spine, off we go. So pull the tummy button up into the spine. Bottom down. Nice deep breaths. Good, we're halfway already. Flying through. Fifteen seconds to go. 
If you stay for longer, you go for it. Three, two, and one. Good. Well done. Well done. Woo! Well done, guys. So sit back on your heels, child's pose, have a good stretch through. Roll the fingers forward. First, and then we'll come up into a plank if you want to do a pigeon stretch at this stage. Just bring the knee forward, send the back leg, and then you can turn and do the foot stretch on your back. So into the pigeon, or foot stretch on your back. Just pushing that lower leg in, opening up the hip here. Good, change legs. Push in. Good, and then a hamstring stretch for everyone. So come on to your back if you're doing a pigeon. So pull either on the calf or the hamstring itself, not on the knee. Get a nice straight leg. Good, change legs. Okay, so we'll slowly come up, don't rush. So the blood doesn't shunt around the body too quickly. And then we'll go into a quad stretch. To grab the chair or find a bit of wall to balance if you need to. Good. Okay, change legs. Well done. Okay, let's step back for a calf stretch. The back heel down, feet facing forward, then bring an arm across, pull it towards you and look over the shoulder. Good, same thing on the other side. So calf stretch in place, feel that and then and look over the shoulder. Good, then a chest stretch, so just standing, hands behind you. Good, quick tricep. Stretch, so just drop the hand down between the shoulder blades, pull on the elbow. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll just finish with the standing cat and cow stretch. So take the feet slightly wider, chin to chest, roll down through the spine. Relax the upper body. Good, shuffle the feet in to hip width apart. Roll up through the spine to halfway. And then squat and dip your back. And then round up through the upper back. One more each way. And Round up and come up all the way. Lovely. Well done, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that and found a good level.
challenged yourself. So I will see you later in the week. Have a good day. Take care. Okay.